Welcome everyone to our first tutorial where we will be going through the process of creating a maze game. We're going to be using NCurses and I'm running on a Raspberry Pi emulator on Windows 8. Uh, you will have to use some kind of Linux machine as we'll be using NCurses which only works uh, in a Linux environment as far as I'm aware. And it's kind of important. NCurses is just like a um, library thing that allows us to um, manipulate screen. We're going to be working through the Linux documentation project tutorial a lot as well. Um, that it's just a great tutorial on NCurses. So full props to them and we're going to steal a lot from them. So first thing to do with NCurses is we need to include it at this front of our program. Um, so we got to do our hashtag include and curses, which is pretty normal. And in another video, we'll probably go through what all that kind of means, but uh, for now, that's all we need. And then the standard int main and our brackets, standard C stuff. And then we need to init screen or initialize the screen. This is an ncurses command and it just kind of gives control over to ncurses. Um, now instead of doing the normal printf, we're going to do print w, not print s, and this is how we print text to ncurses. Uh, ncurses kind of, it's like a virtual screen type thing that gets set up. Um, yeah, so anyways, don't worry too much about it. Just print W, hello world, you know, standard thing. <clears throat> now with NCurses, you need to refresh the screen. So simply type refresh and that will, that will do the command. And then, so just to prevent our window from closing, we're going to get a character from the user, get user input. And then once the user hits a button, we will end the window. Don't forget to end window in your command in your code otherwise uh, and curses will kind of retain control of your console even if uh, you don't want that which could be a bad thing i'm just going to save it to my desktop where i have a folder set up for our game we will call it main.c and that should be good main.c save it and now we're going to create a make file for our uh, little program that we got going on here. Hopefully you guys know about make files. Maybe we'll go into more detail about them later, but uh, yeah, anyways, I'm uh, in my terminal here uh, located in the maze folder. You can use leaf pad make file, not fail. Oh, if I can spell it. Make file. There we go. Okay. Um, now all, and then we got a tab. Those can't be spaces, it has to be a tab. GCC, and then with NCurses, we need to include an, a special flag for our C program, and that's dash L for libraries, L and curses. So dash L and curses, and that will link the end curses library and give our program access to all those commands that we need. And then the name of our file is main.c uh, and then the output file dash o so we have a custom output, output file run me and we should be good to go. So we'll save this and we will um, close down leafpad And then we just have to type make into our console. And that should, uh, and now we'll put out the run me file. And there we go. So it works. And we hit an enter button to close it because we put in that get ch command. Okay, so that's the end of our first tutorial. And we will be going into the maze game in our next. Uh, hopefully this 
cleared up any questions that you might have about end curses and stuff and sets you up well for that. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will try and help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.